Welcome back to another, well, to the final episode of the WWE Superstars Challenge Mode. This episode, we will take on Viscera as Mark Henry in a first blood match. We will do a six-man battle royal, um, playing as Kid Cash against Super Crazy, Shane Helms, Psychosis, Rey Mysterio, and Chavo Guerrero. And I actually believe it's Gregory Helms, not Shane Helms. But it's the same person, doesn't matter. Um, we will play a last man standing match against Booker T as the Boogie Man. We will take on Johnny Nitro and Molina as Joey Mercury in a 2 on 1 handicap match. And we will take on JBL as Rey Mysterio in a normal last match. So, let's, uh, let's start with this first blood match. Hopefully, the, uh, the commentary and whatnot is better than it was last episode. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another Talk Out Raw event from Portland, Oregon. So well, it's been match. too long since Raw has come to Portland, Man, JR. Uh, These fans are going over. crazy. Can you get a chair? I hope he's not looking for a weapon. That could do some serious damage. And it's been reversed. What a counter! There's the reversal! What a vicious chair shot! chair was never meant to be used like that, JR. Yeah, you, Good grief! I don't care how tough you are. A chair shot is a chair shot. And you can't take too many of those and expect to continue. I've got to say, JR, I'm really impressed by what we've seen here tonight. How could you not be, King? These are some of the finest athletes in all the sports entertainment. I know that, JR. I'm just saying that this has been a great match so far. It has indeed, King. And I think it's only going to get better from here on out. Just keep cracking it in the head with chairs and shit. Oh, man! Did you hear that chair shot, JR? I'd be surprised yeah. if there was a single person in this arena who didn't, King. Take off the table. This has so gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. Yeah. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. It looks good. Oh, oh no! I don't like the looks of this. He's got the fans behind him, King, and his opponent had better watch out. So, is this one? Uh, who would know if it's just going to pass? Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell where this one's going to go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I don't appear to be doing too much of either thing. You're looking pretty good, though, I must say. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. These superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. What you expect, King? This isn't ballet, you know. Oh, really, JR? Gosh, tell me more about your in-ring experience. Well, I've got a ten-fall victory over Triple H to my credit. How about you? Oh, it's 
kick him out. He's looking for a big oh. move here. And he's got the world's strongest smile. These superstars are putting on a great match so far, JR. But if they drop the ball, these fans will let them hear about it. I don't think that's going to happen, King. These competitors know that their paycheck comes straight from the WWE fans. They're not going to let them down. Yeah, but if they don't keep the fans happy... If... If... If wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. But that's not the case now, is it? I think someone's looking for a weapon under the ring. This could get up. I don't think these superstars have any intention of taking it easy on each other tonight. That's not what they signed up for, King. And quite frankly, I think these fans would be disappointed if it didn't go all out. Well, that's easy for the fans to say. They've never set foot inside that ring. No, but they spend their hard-earned dollars to watch what goes on inside it. And look out them with all of the other up, get the chair, and slap it down. You talk about ruthless aggression. Look at the way these superstars have been going after each other. They're not playing with kid gloves, that's for sure. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match, but this might turn out to be... No. Go ahead and say it, JR. All right, I will. I think this has got all the makings of a bona fide slobber knock. What is he doing? This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. They sure are, JR, and I love to hear it. So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on one hell of an exhibition here tonight. What's your favorite part of it so far? I don't think it's happened yet. My favorite part of the match is being able to let me and let me enjoy it. Now, now, JR. Keep your words soft and sweet because you may have to eat them later. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is the subject which you have to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too late. Oh, man! That's gonna change the tone of this match, JR. Yeah, and not for the better, either. I wish the ref would actually pay attention to what's going on. find out just how much punishment the human body can withstand here tonight. I think you're right, King. These superstars seem intent on taking each other to the limit. I love that attitude, JR. Go big or go home. Well, these superstars sure aren't going home until this match is set. Oh, boy. Someone's going to be singing soprano after this one. I think the medical staff had better get the ice packs ready right now. Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being shy about saying what's on their mind. You sure can, JR. And I don't think we'd have it any other way. 
The momentum is all with that man now. And here he goes with the world's strongest slam. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this match. What? That's about time. Maybe that's why it wouldn't let me do it. Because you get a win. So that's another match that's done. Four to go. I think we got the uh, Cruiserweight one now. Just save. And fix this headset from that bloody itchy ear. There we go. Save successful. So the next match is uh, loading clearly. Yeah, here's weights. So this one will have very, very shitty bloody commentary because it's going to take forever. And it's not even over the top rope. There's six people. So it's just loading too much. Everyone's in the ring at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a sold-out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Paul here with Cads at Ringside. Man, you couldn't fit another fan in here with a crow bomb, I'm telling you. There's a whole lot of cheese fans in the house tonight. It sure is. Green Bay knows that they're about to see the greatest superstars in all of sports entertainment. I can't wait to get started. What a reversal! He was one step ahead on that one. What a counter that was! Yeah. 
Kona actually locked that in. It usually means that they ain't got much left. Oh man, here it comes Cole, 
six foot nine. Please, Gregory, here to start it out. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is. There's the cover. Uh, Can he do it? That's man. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Taz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yes, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. Is that it? No, only in two counts. He's been looking for that all match, Cole. And on the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. It was like two and a half, Cole. It's just. Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This isn't anything like what I expected from these competitors. Yeah, I gotta admit, they're surprising the hell out of me here, too. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes these superstars so exciting to watch. So, he lost his finish up. He lost it. These superstars have been going hard all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches one and That was great. That was difficult at the end there. I thought it would just get easier, but it got harder. But the uh, don't forget to head out towards the end when less people were there. I did notice that. So I think we got Boogeyman versus Booker T next. Yeah, we must. And then we got Eminem, and then we got Ray and Javels. Sit up a bit. Okay. I don't know why they wanted us to do that match. That was stupid. So, three to go. Last man standing match. Won't be that hard. No. It's the last man standing match. I can do whatever I want. Um. A sold out. The crowd in Memphis, Tennessee is on its feet. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, all set for another exciting evening of SmackDown. Hey, we're bigger than Elvis tonight, Cole. This crowd can't wait. That's a big claim to make, Taz. But you might just be right. Elvis is only one superstar, but SmackDown's got a whole locker room full of them. Nice quick counter. A test of reversal. Can he follow up? Wow. Great reversal. He's bullshit. Yeah, he's definitely a freaky dude. Kind of like you, 
Michael. You're a freaky individual. Awesome. Well, it doesn't seem to me like the boogeyman has a lot of trouble going toe to toe with his opponents either, Taz. display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Paul? He's a WWE superstar for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. Yeah, sure, hey, Paul. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. and disturbing as the boogeyman is Taz, there's a part of me that really enjoys this theatrics. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. This what we need more guys around here that want to eat worms and smash clocks into their head. I think you're forgetting that this is sports entertainment, Taz, and the boogeyman definitely has the entertainment part of that equation down. I'll tell you what, call me old school, but uh, I can't before a guy who gets it done traditionally. Unlike the boogeyman, this guy is an enigma. Uh -huh. That was a textbook reversal. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make marine drone instructors look like push shoulders. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, he's good no, He's got this guy right where he wants him. And there it is! The scissors kick! This has been a great match so far. But I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. Oh, but if you're gonna be snippy, I'm just oh. gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything. Man, you talk about superstars and we've got an ounce to put in them, huh? We're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this is ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and you want to do whatever it takes. You know that if you actually step in this way ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear. I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Colina. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes. That match is over. So now we're just gonna fight Eminem and then JBL. That's it.
save it. We also unlock a trophy for doing this as well. Not a PlayStation trophy, but an actual trophy I'll show you. Um, save successful. There's the boogeyman there. And when it changes, it'll be boogeyman as well. No, didn't want to change anyway. So, if we come up here, so we got a title case or a belt case, smoking skull title, million dollar championship title, and hardcore championship. Um, so if you get the superstar challenge trophy, you get the hardcore legends one gets you the million dollar. The world heavyweight's locked. You got to defend it at WrestleMania unlock and you got to defend the WWE title at Unforgiven to unlock that one. However, the Wall of Fame GM um, award trophy so if you win GM mode you get that. Superstar, so by doing all these challenges um, once we clear the 15th one we get that one which also unlocks the hardcore title. Same with the Legends one there. Money in the Bank is if you want a Money in the Bank match in Exhibition on Legendary. Um, then you got WrestleMania Rumble, Survivor Series and SummerSlam trophies, so you just got to win at them events. And same with the Backlash, Vengeance, Armageddon, Unforgiven, No Mercy and No Way Out trophies. However, they can only be unlocked, same with the um, World Heavyweight WWE Championships, if you do that in Seasons mode. So let's go back to here. So M versus N and M. And the is Mercury. Got to face Molina and Johnny Nitro. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Molina will be quite easy to beat. So. I might look yeah, cool on the Welcome me to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time. And it's great to be back. No doubt, no doubt, Cole. Tonight, the Rose City's gonna get its face rocked. I can't wait. Neither can these fans. Better get started. Or we might have a riot on our hands. If we take it, I'm not sure. Then, take it. Nice reversal. Selling the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. And the story was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age. Ah! Talk about being a little delusional. The size difference between them is just too much. And there's the reversal. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Carl. Right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. Great yes. reversal. What a counter that was. See, the it's thing about me. Melina is, uh, she's, uh, whoa. oh my god, oh, what was I saying? I think all the blood is drained from your brain to another part of your body, Taz. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. 
partner. Oh boy, we've seen this one before. We certainly have a double underhook DDT. And that usually signifies that this match is not far from over. Once just turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was gonna be intense. We knew it was gonna be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got a minute submission of all this is. We might see a tap out right here. It won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. This game sometimes. I think he's gonna fly, Cole! It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz! Yeah! And thousands of paying customers to have some more! And yet we don't progress. Talked about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of quit huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're cheap, there's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out for this one, Cole. You and me both, partner. And we might be about to see another one right here. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. And I'm feeling that we're gonna wind up against each other. Is this what I think it is? Well, if you thought it was a double on hook DDT, you're right, Cole. He could pin his opponent right here. One match to go, and it's just a straight JBL versus Rey Mysterio match. <laughs> Although I think JBL's a super heavyweight, which means that Rey won't be able to pick him up. And his attacks will do next to nothing to him. I don't know, it's alright though. It's Rey Mysterio. So we'll save. There's uh, no reason for us to go to the computer this time either, so we'll finish this next one and then we'll just save and that'll be it for the episode. Um there we go. Let's do it. And Man, his opponent looked like a pulp with that counter. Watch it! He reversed it! It's what a submission maneuver! You must be familiar with this one, Taz! Yeah, I've been on both sides of the call, that's the truth! Let me tell you, the friend we give that we see. Nice reversal! From my in-ring experience, trust me, you can cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars' hands. I don't think anything can be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in that zone. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. Take your word for it, Taz. Yeah, I honestly can't imagine a more electric.
electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. He slipped out of that one. Whoa! I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. And they're right, Taz. They paid for their tickets after all. This is going to require more strength than that. You gotta be dreaming if you think you're gonna pull that off. Drop kick, miss. Rey Mysterio is so exciting to watch today. He's so fast, so agile, so talented. I really think he could be a serious contender for the WWE title. You gotta be kidding me, Cole. I mean, yeah. Mysterio's extremely fun to watch and all, but how is a guy his size going to win a WWE title? Get real! Come on, Chaz. You of all people should know the size is an enemy. You're a former ECW champion, aren't you? You damn skippy, hippie. I, I sure am, but you know what? It's not about me. It's about Rey Mysterio. And between Rey and my... Uh-oh. Looks like he's taking to the corner for a ride. What an incredible power bomb! He may have just broken his opponent in half! JBL has every advantage he possibly has for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Paul? Everything JBL does, he does for the WWE fans. He's rich enough that he doesn't even have to put his body on a line night after night. He does it because he's a man of the people. Oh, please. He does it because the rush he gets from performing for thousands of WWE fans is something that money can't buy. JBL's on an ego trip. Was that? That's a disgusting thing to say, Cole. I'm ashamed to be associated with you. JBL is humanitarian. He's a regular, uh, what do you call it, uh, philanthropist. He's like a Rockefeller in the wrestling trucks. Well, if you're done trying to get yourself written into his will, I think we better just agree to disagree about JBL. As far as I can see, we're looking at two completely different people. Man, this match is so good, it's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. Thanks for my You know, you're not always my number one choice for a broadcast partner, right? You know what you should do, girl pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. And you can be the king and queen on commentary. Real funny, Taz. You know, that would almost be worth not having to work with a joker like you all the time. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Paul. Just oh, heads up! Close line from hell! He just about decapitated his opponent! What a cowardly move! He can't win fair and square, so he tries to screw his opponent out of the victory. Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with him doing whatever it takes to win the match. If it was that bad, the ref would be killed him, right? And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys, but these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. 
We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, Cole, intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that task. I think that's exactly what they've got in mind. Be reverse and everything. Every time you go to do something, reverse. Yeah, I don't care about stamina. Hurry up. Say it again. Nothing costs you a match quicker than overconfident. What are you talking about? I see a dominant superstar who's rallying this capacity crowd behind him. That was a textbook reversal. Here it comes, Cole. 619! And the crowd has come alive tonight with a champ directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. And there's the pin! That was like two and a half, Cole. Great reversal! kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Just kidding, up and six one nine again. That's I'm not where it. you want to be when you fight this guy. Uh, and that's why. Six one nine. Man, you just can't put anything hey, over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. There's the pin! Can his opponent kick out? The referee's hand was coming down for a three count. I gotta tell you, Cole. I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is going to end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's the unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why 
You can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something you just gonna go down. He's got his opponent on the ropes. There he goes. Drop the dime. Six foot nine. Looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Come on. He can pin his opponent right here. That match was completely different to the last one. And it was the same. Oh, that's just stupid. The amount of reversals in this match. 8300 for me. 12. Grand to buy anything from the thing. I could go with nah, I suppose. Then we've got 30,000. we got the hardcore title setting up Saturday night main event arena and we got that trophy. Well, now we have to go to the store. So, yes. There we go, and it's Cena. So we can go check the uh, trophy case and the belt case. Um, so that's all them cleared. If we now come up the stairs, as you can see, there's the hardcore title. And we've got the Superstars trophy. You can rotate it. All that shit. You can do the same with the belts, but whatever. Now let's come to here. We'll buy both Dusty and Hot Rod. Hot Rod, uh, Dusty. We've still got 14 green. We'll buy that. And we can save the rest of it for a later date. So we'll save this and then I will end the episode and this series of Superstar Challenge modes there. Alright. Well, that's been it for this episode. Um, it's the finale, so we won't be doing the Superstar Challenge modes anymore. Um, but that's whatever. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you want to see me do next. Um, obviously, I'll do a season mode at some point. Um, let me know if you want the GM mode before the seasons mode or after. Doesn't really worry me. Um, make sure you go and follow our Twitter and Facebook. The links are in the description. Um, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and good night.